Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. If you were watching yesterday, you would have seen me do some folded plate in advanced steel. And the whole idea of today's video is to show a similar kind of object in fusion. But for your side of the coin, you have to work out which is the better product and why you need to do it. So with advanced steel, the, the idea of the plate could be to make a custom connection uh, or just something that you need to, to model up to unfold. It's great for working in the larger sort of more structural projects. There's no reason you couldn't do it for a little one-off sort of plate project, which you need to export a, an NC file or a DXF. But um, if you're doing the larger projects, then advanced steel is probably the better way to go for the smaller ones if you just need to do this one off then you have the choice of doing it within advanced steel or doing a similar thing in fusion so ultimately at the end of the day you'll just need to again work out which one it is if it's just for the smaller things then maybe fusion is the better one it depends if you're more sort of inventor savvy as well or if you're more autocad savvy then maybe advanced steel is the solution so we when we fire up Fusion, we scroll down to the Sheet Metal Workspace. And from here, I'm just going to create a quick sketch in the top view at the center. And we're going to go 150 by 300. And from that, I'm making uh, new components. And then from that, I want to create a flange from that component. So that's the base there. And then I want to click on flange again and then pick, uh, let's do all four corners. And I want to extend it up. Let's go 50 mil. We're making a box of, of some sort. Okay, and you can see here Fusion has cleaned up the corners there. And then if I wanted to do uh, something similar for the outside edges here, so I can pick both lines and you'll see Fusion will stretch it out. And then if we do the same on the other corner, I can pick both corners, stretch it out 50 mil. And again, you can see that it tidies the corner up and then I'm gonna come up, uh, let's go 45. Okay, and you can just keep doing that to your heart's content until the box matches uh, whatever you need. So I'm just going to save this, call it folded plate. Now to look at the unfolding, we can come over here and go to create flat pattern and it asks us for the stationary face. So it's just going to be the base or the bottom of it. And then we get that unfolded plate. We can export this straight out to DXF, or I can create a drawing from this design. Uh, so put it on an A2. And then it puts it in at 1 to 2. Let's see if we can get it in there at 1 to 1. It's a bit big. Let's go back to 1 to 2. Down the bottom. So once we're in there, we can also put in a bend table. And you can see Fusion has put in the ID number, the direction, the angle, and the radius. And you've also got those two 45, so the uh, seven and eight. So seven and eight are, are folded down at 45, and then four is up, okay? So that's sort of really it in a nutshell. I can exit out of the flats here. You can go through, uh, you know, we can do holes, we can do patterns in here, you can put other fillets or chamfers and, and look at the materials and anything else. You can create joints and, and whatever else. But that's, again, really it for the, the folding side of things. So you could, you know, again, in theory, make something similar to this. Um, but this is really good for, again, the, the smaller projects, um, quick prototyping, whatever you might need from a mechanical sort of standpoint, whereas this is sort of more aimed at the structural plate work. But there's no reason you couldn't do small jobs like this in Advanced Steel or Fusion. But Fusion is definitely for the smaller projects and Advanced Steel would be for the 
from small plate projects right up to large structural projects where you're doing steel beams and plate work and uh, chutes and hoppers and stairs and whatever else, whereas obviously we, you wouldn't with fusion. So that's the comparison really between the two. The outputs again are very similar. We can uh, export out a DWG of that, um, of the drawing itself or the CSV, but also by the same token we can um, create the, the flat pattern of that and then we can export that flat pattern out as a DXF. So you kind of support for choice if you want to use the two. Uh, ultimately, you'll just have to work out what, which one, um, which product will work out best for you for your project. So hopefully it's been informative for you. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos, and I will see you tomorrow uh, for some more Autodesk products and tips and tricks and workflows and whatever else we can come up with. So thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.